Stanford. He won two at Pacific. And we're underway. And right off the bat, USC on the serve gets on the scoreboard. Well, Holly, Mick Haley told us that his team had to make some adjustments. Two losses in the regular season to Stanford. Something has to change. A lot of that will be on the defensive side. Kendall Bateman, the service for USC. And Kleinman finds the back line. One of the things that USC is going to try to do against Alex Kleinman, number 10 right there, they are going to try to play more of what you think of as a zone defense. They're going to try to back out a little bit and not move so much. So Carly Wopat, a talented freshman for Stanford with a very fierce jump serve, and you see it there. The middle attack read by Stanford. And here's Kleinman again. Stay low, stay These teams low. very familiar with each other. On, you can see by this extended rally right off the bat. Jupiter blocked. Tries to change it up and maybe thinking too much on that one. Yeah, that can happen at times. You know, maybe some jitters here early on, but there's so much at stake for both of these teams. And I think the, the toughest thing is that both teams do know each other so well. 6-2 freshman out of California, and Carly has that great jump serve we noticed yesterday in their match against Ohio State. Very effective. Overpass, there's 6-6. Haley Spellman gets the point for the Cardinal, imposing at the net. What a presence from her up at the net, and the lefty on top of it, which just can throw you off a little bit more if you're going at her. Remember, in this first set, it is rally scoring, point for play. Go to 25, or you have to win by two. It is the best of five sets, and the final set will be to 15. We talked about Carly Wopat, the freshman, and her serve. Check out that top spin, causing problems for Stanford. And Mick Haley for USC said this match will come down to serve and pass. And right now, it's going Stanford's way. Jupiter outside gets the point, and the service back for USC. That's what That's USC has to have. They've got to get the Alex pass. Jupiter. They've got to get it to their main go-to right there, Alex Jupiter. Jupiter, out of Paris, France, came to the U.S. as she served long. Primarily to be a beach volleyball player. She's ended up playing indoors more and more. And Coach McKaylee told us today she's finally this season really making that adjustment. Yeah, big adjustment to go from beach, beach play to the hard court. And it has been a struggle for her. Very inconsistent, but not this year. Now into the match for Stanford, Carissa Cook on that serve. Back set, and here's Lickman. This is that 6-2 offense, two setters in the match for Stanford, and that time Carissa Cook with the back set to Walter Walker. Stanford runs the 6-2, as you mentioned, Cook is in. You just don't expect Lickman then to be coming at you with the big arm, their other setter, but she's out there and she's got quite a quick arm. Cook with the service error, get the side out back to USC. And to here's that three. freshman libero we told you about, Haley telling us today that the thing he loves about Natalie Hagman is that she competes. She is a championship surfer, won a championship in high school, and she competes at everything. Kleinman rolls it over. You can tell these two teams so familiar with each other early on. Inside for Fred Moana. For Noi Moana, a lot of pressure on this player coming in. The number one player nationally for prep volleyball. And a big adjustment too, just the balance of Division I volleyball at this level and then the college grades. There she is again, and she gets the point again. She was a little shaky yesterday in their match against Indiana, got off to a bit of a slow start, just eight kills and hit only 167, but she's come off to a hot start here, and that's gonna make Stanford defend much differently. Uh, got that first match under her belt here in her first regional as a freshman. Stanford leads by one. Here she is again, the fab freshman. Third straight kill for Noe Moana. Pac-10 freshman of the year. She'd love to make it to the next round. And that's an important one, the national championship in Kansas City. USC's been there four times at the championship. Stanford has been there three of the last four years, but have not yet won it. They've struggled to get past Penn State. 
Here's Lickman with the set to Kleinman, who finds the angle. And that was a smart decision by Alex Kleinman. She read the block perfectly. She was able to get that point. She read the block, took something off of it, got a nice cut on that one, straight down. Kleinman out of Manhattan Beach, California. The Academic All-American of the Year, voted on by ESPN Magazine and the Cosida directors. Yeah. She gets the service ace. Ace is everything. Ace is everything. She really does. I mean, the accolades just keep going for Alex Kleinman. And I don't think we talk about the academics enough. Both of these teams had to come in. They all had finals. They had to come in in two different shifts, different players coming at different times. There's a lot that goes on for these student athletes. Well, Stanford yet to find an answer. Four straight kills for Full Moyana. Fanoi Moana, sorry. It doesn't roll off the tongue as easily. I think we'll go with Fallon, her first name, most of the way, but you're right. And we're going to be 13. saying this for a long time, just a freshman for USC. And she has seen what she needs to do, working on things. And there's that two-setter rotation there, and it's so interesting. Cook sets the other setter, Cassidy Lickman, who gets the kill. What a dynamic, and they've both adapted to their roles so easily. Here's Fanoi Moana getting ready to receive. She's become a better defender. Stanford still struggling, struggling to find a way to defend her. Again, outside, gets it. And Holly, every time Fanoi Moana, she just keeps going at them, 100%. Until the block for Stanford can figure out a way to stop her, she's not going to change it up. That's a freshman she's going one-on-one -on -one against, and Rachel Williams has got to do a better job there. Triple block for USC, and boy, back and forth. Stanford was up by three, USC made a four-point run, and now we are all tied up at nine apiece. Just a perfect read by USC on that block. They were just waiting for Lickman in the middle. And that one was easy, the little tap across from Alexis Olgard, another one of those talented freshmen, but Fanoi Moana, excuse me, <laughs> Fanoi Moana doing a terrific job here pacing USC, and I, I wonder if Stanford was expecting this so early in this match. Uh, Nick Haley for USC said he wasn't sure if he was going to have Fallon serving in this one because she's got the top spin, and Stanford typically is a team that can receive the top spin serves very well. But right now, Benoit Moana doing an excellent job with the top spin serve. Right down the pike from the other freshman, Kylie Wolpat. Stanford service back. Well, that serve went right to Gabby Ells, the libero for Stanford, all-time leader in digs, and that's the perfect pass, perfect set, and that's why Stanford gets it back. Cassidy Lickman on the serve for Stanford. And Jupiter. She was uh, active early before the Milana got active and got so many weapons on this USC team. Now in Gina Urango, senior out of Los Alamitos, California. The service error. And Holly, for USC, we talked about Alex Jupiter and how she was going to have to be a big impact player. But you got to take some pressure off her. And right now, USC has done that going to Fanoi Moana so often. You've got to mix it up, and they're doing that. Sophomore Hannah Benjamin checks into the match. Service expert for them. Jupiter gets it inside. So two straight kills for Alex Jupiter. And USC showing some real fire sure. jumps out to a two-point lead here in set one. Kendall Bateman, the setter for USC, now on the serve. Oh, back down the middle. And USC's defense had slowed that middle option down the last couple of times, but not this time. And John Dunning, the head coach for Stanford, told us the middle will be the key for his team, and they're going to keep going to the middle as often as they can. The middle set is read by the Stanford block. That's Walker. And Spellman getting up on the combo. We'll tie it up at 13. Good 
perfect serve. USC out of system. Kleinman. Back to Kleinman, and this time gets the kill. Alex Kleinman is above the both blockers there for the double block, and here we'll see it. And this is why she's able to do what she does. You've got to at least get a tip on this. You're not going to completely block it straight back to her, but if you can tip that and slow it down, you've got a chance. And that's the risk-reward of that aggressive serve from Carly Wopat. 22 service aces on the season, but 32 service errors make that 33 now in USC. If things tied, has a chance. Tip from 6-6 to see USC. They played twice this season, but not for more than this. They're trying to get a ticket to Kansas City to play for this, the national championship trophy. Stanford leads USC by one in the first set.